Lakeland Public Television's Common Ground is brought to you by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund. Welcome to Wolf Work Studio. I'm Marcia Wolf. I share this studio with my husband Gary. Gary does the pottery and the painting. He has two wheels over there and his pottery stuff and the whole rest of this I take up with my mosaics and my dishes. I combine my love of thrift store shopping and rummage sailing with my passion of breaking the dishes and making mosaics. I love to repurpose things. I love to um, reuse, find a new use for something old. I have over here a mosaic that I'm going to be doing today. I have a commission piece and it's a small one that's going to be going into a suitcase and it's kind of fun. This piece here um, is going to be of a gal um, by the name of Rachel who used to be a student of mine at Nevis School. I already laid in the body. I usually do that part first um, to make sure it's realistic enough. If the body's right then the whole thing will come together. I always do the major thing first. I always like to put words and for Rachel I have I'm gonna have I think I'm gonna have live and love so I'm gonna put those words here and then I also have her Hawaiian name that actually is Keaha o Kawaipuna that is her Hawaiian name I think it's important to keep your pieces as clean as possible and it's also important uh, when you're placing things on your mosaic that they shouldn't touch and they should be about equidistant apart. And I think on the side here, I'm gonna put my live and love so I don't forget to put it on. Mosaics are very forgiving. If you make or start a mosaic and you do something you don't like, I, always, I take a hammer and chisel and I chisel it off and redo it. I started mosaics when I was um, a senior in high school, oh my gosh, 40 some years ago. That was my first one and I used a Noxzema uh, bottle and I uh, broke up one of my dad's beer bottles I think and that's what I I had a brown and blue thing going, and it was it was a lot of fun, uh, and I was hooked. I dream of it when I go to bed at night. I dream of shapes and colors and sizes, and I, when I wake up, I can't wait to get down here to break some plates. Okay, I'm using red pieces that I've already broken and I've already sized up here, so I just have to put them in like this and it is like putting together a puzzle each piece should not touch and should be of equal distance from the next one i draw my design on the board usually very simply i like things to kind of flow as i'm going and so i don't plan it out a whole lot but I'll draw the main thing in. In this case, because they wanted a waterfall and they wanted the girl in the red dress, I put that in. And then the rest is just free. And then as I get there, I'll have to decide. The piece is too big. I'll have to decide what it is I'm going to do. So I have a lot of pieces pre-cut. And they're not all the same. Some are. Some are small, some have pointed edges. And what I do is I actually look at the space that I have and in my mind's eye, I see a triangle, I see a rectangle, I see a circle, or I see, I see the shape, the shape comes to me and then I realize that that's the perfect shape to go right there, to fit right there. And so then I put it down and then I just move on to the next. It's almost like meditating. It just takes me down and I enter into a state, I don't know where I'm at, I enter into a state and, and hours go by 
and all of a sudden I realize I've been standing all day and I'm starving but it, it's, it's hard to describe the wonderful effects I guess of, of doing any kind of art any kind of creative thing you just feel you feel good about it so now we have the, our little lady here has her legs her arms her head her dress now we need some hair Rachel has brown hair so I'm going to cut these pieces like this then I'm going to shape them next I'm going to put a waterfall in and I'm gonna use mirror shards, but I wanna make it look like water. And so I'm going to cut the shards. I just scratch over it, it makes a real scratching sound. And I have it scored and then I just break it like that. And then I have my pieces. Now I can go over and do my waterfall. Do my waterfall. I'm going to put some glue down where my waterfall is going to go. And now, because it starts at the top, I'm thinking this piece will go there. Just put some of my pieces in here. Let's see. I have some rocks going right here. And so I have some tile pieces instead of plates. And I'm gonna clean off the little nubbins that they use to hold these together. I'm gonna cut these. These are real hard to, hard to break. I think I got them here. Cut them into pieces that look like rocks. When I was teaching at the at the Neva school, um, I would have kids come after school, and we worked on mosaics for the school, and we did a whole wall of mosaics, and we did like the opposing teams mascots. And the gal I'm doing this for now, Rachel, um, was one of the ones who worked on it. So I'm excited to have her see this and remember the the fun times we had. Uh, at the school working on the mosaics. I like to do mosaics that are whimsical, that have a sense of fun to them. Life is meant to be lived and it's meant to, to be fun and uh, not so much so serious. There's so much going on nowadays, you know, with bad things happening. So it's important to, to live each day. That kind of reminds me of the saying that I have on the wall, this is the best day of my life, can't wait till tomorrow. That was my uh, son Jason, who is no longer with us, but he is with us in one respect because we tried to live the way that he lived, that every day was special. He taught us the importance of, of using what you have, even though he didn't have a lot of um, movement and couldn't do a lot of things. He was still um, so alive, so with each moment. And that was a good lesson for us, um, you know, to live each moment of the day, live in the moment. I don't plan so much for the future and I try not to look so much to the past. I try to live in the now. I think that's important. It is to me anyway. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland Public Television's Common Ground, consider making a contribution at lptv.org. If you have segment ideas pertaining to North Central Minnesota, contact us at legacy at lptv.org. Common Ground is funded by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund by the vote of the people on November 4th, 2008.